Hi and welcome to Fusion 360 Electronics. Today I wanted to make a quick tip video regarding the interactive routing capabilities in Fusion 360 has to offer. I have never heard someone state that they can't wait to begin routing their signals on their PCB. This is maybe the most tedious process of laying out your circuit board, but it is the most satisfactory. Fusion 360 does a fantastic job of providing you with the necessary routing tools and environment settings that make this process efficient. For this video, I'm going to assume you have already set your routing grid and set your ideal design rule parameters that best accommodate your design and your manufacturer. I'm only going to work with manual routing in Fusion 360. I will begin by telling you some of the benefits of our BioLater modes. They allow you to set the behavior of the trace as you're going to route your signal. First, the walk around mode is great because it will guide you and avoid any violations, but it will not move any existing traces or vias. The manual route mode allows you to have full control of the routing, but DRC will remain active and it will display any errors that may be showing in the form of these hatch marks. This push and shove mode will move traces and vias out of the way to make space for the new routed signal. When placing vias, it will displace adjacent vias and traces just as well, but this mode will not affect any traces or vias that have been locked down. Coupled with these modes, now we're gonna talk about the interactive routing capabilities that Fusion has to offer. Let's now route a group of traces. This amazing feature allows you to select a group of signals, then route them. Press the spacebar to switch layers and select from the dialog box which V alignment you want. I usually use the stagger option to save some space on the board. At any point, you could go ahead and press enter and quick route will complete the routing. This is a time saving feature that could be used with any of the manual routing options. Now let's take a look at a quick route options. Quick route has its own routing engine and it will help you get rid of some of those simple routing you have to do on your circuit board. Let's begin with quick route air wire. This amazing option will do its best to route the select the signal from point to point. There are layer of via properties and trace with options available. This will truly save significant routing time on your design. With quick route guided, I could select a group of signals and predefine their path. The trace will follow the selected path that has been defined. This will really give you a great control when working with large components. Let me end this quick tip video with the quick route smooth. This option only works on existing traces and will optimize their distance by eliminating as many bends as possible on the trace. This great feature can be used on traces that have been manually routed, interactively routed, or even traces that had been defined by the outer router. Remember, that while you are manually routing, the loop route removal is always active by default. So while routing an existing trace, the loop is going to automatically disappear, avoiding having to take the time to rip it up. There are a few more routing options that you could use, but I wanted to simply give you a brief introduction to our interactive manual routing capabilities. In the description, I will leave a link to our help files and please join Active Forum to interact with our support teams and our team of developers. All this and more with Fusion 360.